Hello and welcome to question 3 of this WJEC GCSE Maths paper. This is Unit 1, the non-calculated paper, higher tier for summer 2019. Question 3. In this question, you will be assessed on the quality of your organisation, communication and accuracy in writing. A regular octagon with centre O is shown below. Calculate the exact size of angle OAB. OAB. Remember, with a three-letter group, and an angle, the middle letter is the angle we're interested in. So O, A, B. A is the angle we're interested in. You may choose to draw additional lines on the diagram to help you. You must show all your working. Okay, so I'll start this question off with the fact that for any polygon, the sum of exterior angles adds up to 360 degrees. So just as a reminder, this is the external angle and this is the internal angle. And if we go around adding up these external angles for any polygon, we come to 360 degrees. Now we're lucky here because our octagon we're given is regular, which means that all the angle sizes are the same and all the lengths of the sides are the same. So all these external angles will be the same size. So we can say that 360 degrees divided by the eight external angles there are, since it's an octagon, eight sides, eight angles, gives us 45 degrees. So each external angle is 45 degrees. So, remember we're getting marks for organisation, communication and writing, so I'm going to put some of this into words. So, for any polygon, the sum of all external angles, or Exterior angles would be more correct. Is 360 degrees. Divided by 8. 8. Exterior angles. For a regular octagon spell octagon wrong that's an A equals 45 degrees per exterior angle now we're also lucky because for a regular polygon if we draw another line OB such in the same manner as OA, we know that this angle is always the same as this angle. for a regular polygon. I'm just going to take a moment to explain why. So if we divide this polygon up into segments, like so, we will see that since this is an octagon, there are eight segments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we start at any line and draw a circle all the way around, we see that we know a circle is formed of an angle of 360 degrees, divided by eight, and it's a regular shape, so all angles must be the same. Each of these angles must be 45 degrees as well. So that's just a little aside, it's not part of the question. 
just to show you why this angle is always the same as this angle. And that's the same for any regular polygon. So I'm going to label this point 1 due to 1 we know that angle A O B equals 45 degrees. We also have a triangle here now, an, isos an isosceles triangle AOB with a known angle above. So I'm just going to pull this triangle out to make it a little bit clearer. So there's A, there's O, there's B. That's the angle we're asked to find from the question. We know this is 45 degrees. And we're not sure of this angle either, but we know these lengths are the same size because it's an isosceles triangle. So we know these two angles must be the same size. Let's call them x. So angle OAB is just x. Since AOB is an isosceles, I just need to check my spelling here. Isosceles, isosceles triangle. Angle OAB equals angle OBA equals x. And we also know because OAB is an isosceles triangle, or in fact just because OAB is a triangle, all, ang all internal angles or all interior angles of a triangle equal 180 degrees. We know that 180 degrees equals 45 from angle o, uh, AOB plus 2x. These two angles here, OAB, OBA. So now we just have, I'll just make this a little bit clearer with an arrow, 180 equals 45 plus 2x. We just have a simple algebra question here that we need to rearrange and find x. So 180 minus 45 is 135 equals 2x divided by 2 gives 135 divided by 2 2's into 13 goes 6 times with 1 left over 2's into 15 goes 7 times with half left over. So x equals 67.5 degrees. So there's the answer to question 3. We've done the working. We've written our answer out. So we've displayed organisation, communication and accuracy since we've got our spellings correct, isosceles uh, and octagon. So that should get you all the marks for question three. If there's anything you're not sure about or anything that's not clear, please leave a comment down below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if this has helped uh, and keep up the hard work. Thank you.